Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. Uh, in this video, we are looking at the Geekbench scores for Catalina and then Big Sur on the mid-2017 iMac. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna download Geekbench 5. And uh, for some reason it took quite a lot of time, so I'm gonna skip to the part where it got downloaded. So I hit open and this is gonna be later because we are using a free version and I'm gonna run both the CPU and the compute benchmarks so because he's saying quit all the programs there I go so first is CPU it took around uh, 2 minutes 16 seconds and the scores are 843 and 3056 for single core and multi core the next is the compute benchmark and this took around uh, 26 seconds and 29143 that's a score guys and the next thing that I'm gonna do is go ahead I'll install macOS Big Sur it's 12 GB so it's gonna take some time agree 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 key in the password yeah here we have uh, Big Sur installed and I'm gonna run the CPU and the compute benchmarks again so here we go one thing that I noticed is substantially there was more time that it took to run these benchmarks so I knew the scores were gonna be lower so 689 and 2204 those are the single core and multi core scores and the compute benchmark even this took a little bit more time than before so this would be 26764 so let's compare there is a drastic difference in the multi core performance from 3056 to 2264 from Catalina to Big Sur and coming to the graphics it is uh, 29143 and not a huge dip but still it's a dip it's 26764 now i don't know if it's really the m1 chip if it's really designed for the m1 chip which is why these scores have taken a hit but the previous time when i upgraded to catalina i actually had an increase in the score so i was happy but this time maybe not so lucky so yeah, this is the Geekbench score test guys. I hope you found this informative. Thank you so much for watching and have a lovely day ahead.